Okay, the layers that go into our container potting mix are as follows. First we have dirt, next I put in ripped newspaper, followed by peat moss, some composted manure, in the orange bucket I have sand, potting mix, and then I water. And I'll show you how I do this, and it's actually a pretty simple process. Uh, so the first thing I do is I, I've put uh, about three or four sheets. This is just wet newspaper. Take my soil here. Your soil may be quite a bit damper. This has been sitting in the greenhouse all winter, so it's, it's pretty much dried itself out here. Uh, I'll make a nice good soil bed there for those really deep roots. This pot that I'm making today would be for a bigger plant like a tomato, maybe some beans, uh, probably even do a zucchini or something like that in this. So next I'll put a layer of newspaper, just ripped newspaper, and I'll sprinkle on top of that newspaper some peat moss. This layering effect that we're doing here basically allows, um, it allows your pot to simulate what would happen if it had deep soil with a lot of nutrients. So after our peat moss, I put in uh, probably about an inch or two of the manure. You almost can't do this wrong. Um, you can do lots of really thin layers or a couple really thick layers. Uh, I tend to probably go on the thick side, probably have about an inch of manure there. Um, the other thing I'll use sometimes is I'll use uh, my bunny manure, which I have over here. It's mixed with grass clippings. And uh, I'll show you that. See, see the little bunny marbles in there. But any kind of manure will work, any kind of compost will work for that matter. After I've done this, put a good layer of sand down. Uh, see that there? The sand, putting about mm, half an inch of sand. I don't need a lot of sand, it's just to help with the drainage so that the roots can get through this layer uh, and down into those deeper layers. And then followed by the sand, I'll do a healthy layer of potting mix. And uh, once I've done this, I, I can actually repeat the process. Um, I may or may not skip the ripped newspaper. Uh, in this case, I'm going to put some down, but I'm just going to put a, a, a thinner layer with smaller pieces of newspaper. And, and what this layering effect does is it, is it simulates what a plant could get outside where there's years and years of growth and leaves and rot and, and you know the soil layers that it would naturally find out there. Uh, I'll put a little peat moss on. Now with the peat moss, if you want to, um, you can see I'm kind of pushing this down just a little bit, not hard, uh, just a little bit. For this layer, I'll put manure. I'm not going to add the bunny manure just because I don't want any grasses showing up here or starting to grow. Uh, you just never know what those bunnies have eaten. Um, again, here I'll put a much thinner layer of sand. I probably don't even need to put any sand, but I'll, I'll mix it in just a little with the manure. And then again, the last thing I'll put on is uh, some good topsoil, some good potting mix rather. Uh, what I'll also do is once I've planted this, uh, once I've got this planted, I will take some more of my peat moss and I'll spread the peat moss on top just as a mulch layer. It'll hold in the moisture better uh, and make it so that these plants have a little bit more of a reserve. Um, so now that I've done that, I'm going to, there we go. I don't have any plants to transplant yet, it's still a little early, it's only the 5th of March, but I am going to water this pretty good. Um, oop, running over there. You can see I made a little pit because I want this water to get down in there. And for the next 3 or 4 days I'll probably keep watering it just a little bit, just so that that, that soil is nice and hydrated all the way through, and when I plant um, it's a perfect environment for my transplants to survive. Uh, so now that that's done I'll uh, turn off the camera and um, I'll take that out.